Illinois activists and lawmakers want more details about the proposed and widely criticized congressional maps. Today, a House redistricting committee hearing kicked off the final week of the fall veto session. News 3's Danny Valle has been tracking that for us and joins us live in studio with more. Danny, good evening. Good evening, Julie. The hearing ended with Representative Tom Demmer asking committee chairperson Elizabeth Hernandez when lawmakers will see legislation on the proposed maps. She says they're going to wait to reflect on today's feedback before bringing forth that legislation. Today, seven witnesses spoke on both sides of the issue. One said this map is compact and focuses on community districts. Another said they want to see geographical changes to reflect their area's issues. And one witness who identified himself as a Democrat says this map pushes the notion that votes don't matter. Republican leaders on the committee criticized the map, drawing the map drawing process as a sham that focuses on political interests at the expense of community input. They pit voters against each other. They dilute the impact that voters in different communities around the state of Illinois can hope to have for their elected officials. It's a sham. It's unfair. It's undemocratic and it should not happen in this capital. Now these proposed congressional maps were unveiled just 11 days ago, days before the start of the veto session. The map would expand Congressman Mike Boston's district and shorten the district of Congresswoman Mary Miller. Also on the schedule today, a debate on a bill that would allow gun safety courses to be offered as early as elementary school. We'll talk about more on that coming up at six. 